The larynx or voice box is located above the trachea slash windpipe. The part of the larynx that produces the sound are the vocal folds. As air passes through the two vocal folds, it causes them to vibrate and the vibrations can range from 100 to 1000 times per second, depending on the pitch of the sound we make. Pitch is determined by the tension, length and thickness of the vocal cords. The term vocal cords is technically incorrect as it was originally thought to be two cords stretched across the airway like a guitar string. We now know that they are actually multi-layered folds of tissue, therefore vocal folds is a more accurate term rather than vocal cords. Sound travels in waves and are caused by vibrations or vibrating air particles. The source of the sound disturbs the air nearby and the disturbance carries on like a water ripple. The outer ear catches these vibrations and the sound waves travel into the air canal. The eardrum senses these vibrations and passes them through to the ossicles, which are three bones in the middle ear among the smallest bones in the entire body. The sound waves then travel into the inner ear slash cochlea. The cochlea is shaped like a snail and inside of it is full of a water-like fluid. The fluid also starts to vibrate and the hair-like cells in the cochlea start to move. The hair cells send out electrical impulses that travel along the auditory nerve and into the brain. These signals are sent to the brain and your brain processes the information. The ossicles are called malleus, incus, and stapes. There are many different types of communication between humans, such as body language or verbal communication. Body language is a type of non-verbal communication and is not to be confused with sign language. Sign language is similar to any other language except that it is expressed using hand movements or gestures. It is spoken differently between different countries and has their own complex grammar systems. Body language, on the other hand, doesn't have grammar and is interpreted broadly instead of having a specific meaning for each movement and interpretations may vary from country to country. Types of body language include Facial expression, body posture, gestures, handshakes, eye movement, physical contact, tone of voice, which is technically a combination of spoken language and body language, and also other types of physical movement. And last but not least, there's verbal communication, 